Okay. Uh, so let's look at there are five custom investigators and 148 player cards. There is a mechanic called the Tension Mechanic. Several of the new player cards in Circus X Mortis expansion of the new Tension Keyword. Darkest Claptrap, how's it going? Each Tension Keyword is followed by an effect with two parts separated by a colon. The first part is a condition, and the second part is a result. Tension. Defeat an enemy with a fight value of 4 or higher, you get plus 1 brain. So if you satisfy the condition, you get the bonus, the reward. Notably, there are these tension tokens, which are uh, just used to mark when they have completed. It's like the monstrous, or monstro monstrous mechanic, or whatever it is from uh, Magic the Gathering. Okay, so there are five custom investigators. We have uh, Tarun Sh uh, Shandavarkar. A uh, performer and believer. I believe they all have the same kind of deck building, which is guardian zero to f so a main class zero to three, and then a secondary class zero to three. And your deck must at least have ten more of your main class than they have of your off class. So uh, they're all circus themed, which is pretty fun. We have a little clown, but Doctor I'm Pegliacci. Uh, we have that going on over here. So. Um, after damage or horror is assigned to a card you control, add one charge or secret to an asset you control. So this is really neat because it gives you that whole primary, secondary feeling, while kind of also still existing in both classes, which I think is really neat. So, like, we have the Soak of Guardians, and the spell, the charges, um, of the Mystic class. Uh, notably, we don't get levels four or five, which is a little bit of a, a, a scary nightmare. But I think it's gonna it's gonna be curious to see how it goes. So, inherited will. Look at that. It uses charges. What a surprise. Three cost takes up a hand slot. Uh, item weapon melee blessed. Uh, this a guy only uses two charges. Fight. You get plus one fist for this attack. If you succeed, you may spend up to two charges to deal that much additional damage for this attack. That's really neat. I think it's a nice strong weapon. On its own, it's just a plus one, plus, uh, plus one, plus one damage. But, you can get more out of it. And then we got Measuring Up. Put Measuring Up and Play in your threat area. You cannot choose to assign damage or horror to assets. As an action, take two damage, two horror, or any combination thereof. Discard Measuring Up. You cannot activate your reaction ability or resolving this. Okay, cool. Alright. We got Natalie Solier, the Juggler. Two, four, three, three. You do not... Alright, so this is Seeker-Rogue. Ooh, the fabled Secret and Rogue combination. You do not discard assets in excess of available slots after playing them. Assets played in excess of available slots get minus one cost and gain fast. It's forced. At the start of the upkeep phase, discard assets you control in excess of available slots. Interesting. Very interesting. Flavorly works very well as the juggler kind of feeling for it. I think that's really cool. I think that's really neat. Juggler's Batons. After it enters play, draw a card for each ass you control in excess of available slots. How's it going? How's it going, Beard? How's it going? I'm excited to playtest these cards. After it enters play, draw a card for each ass you control in excess of its available slots. So this basically just like fills your slots. Has a good time. Play it for one and fast. Put it on the bottom of your deck. Fun. Do, do, do. That's cool, neat. That's neat. Losing focus. Put low losing focus into play in your threat area. After you discard one or more cards during the upkeep phase, take one horror, double action, discard it. Okay, very nice. All right, we got uh, Laiji. This is Rogue Survivor, the classic Christmas colors combination. Three, two, three, four. Well, that's a weird stat line. At the start of the investigation phase, attach a non-weakness skill to your location or a connecting location. At the end of the round, discard the attached skill. So, I imagine one of these is a permanent. Yeah, so like, because I feel like we're missing a little bit of something to get this really going. Uh, while one of your skills attached to location, commit that skill to the first test performed by an investigator made on or against the attached location. Each enemy and treachery at that location. Each enemy and treachery next to the agenda deck. And each ability printed on the agenda or act. So basically, you get that skill. You get that skill just for the first of each, like, type of test. So, like, an investigate. You know, enemy or treachery. Cool. Nice. 
Uh, notably, it's not like Amanda where it doesn't replace itself. So you are like, you're basically losing a card a turn. It's not making up for it. So we're going to have to see how that goes. That might need to be part of the game. You might have to like plan for that in there. That uh, makes the stat line make a bit more sense because you're kind of just like also, even though you are rogue and you're going to need 10 more rogue cards than survivor cards, you still um, live in that survivor pool. So, Death Define. If you see, draw one card for each keyword on the target card. Hunter, Massive, Retaliate, Alert, Peril, Search, Haunted, etc. Cool. It's practiced. I hear Travis. Oh, I'm pogging over there. Uh, foolhardy. Put into play in your threat area. After you resolve a test and did not succeed by two or more, take a damage or a horror. In your turn, if you took two or more tests during your turn, discard Foolhardy. Otherwise, shuffle Foolhardy back into your deck. Okay, that's neat. That's neat. Okay. Arturo Wrangle. The Fire Breather. We have Mystic and Seeker. After you successfully fight or deal damage to an enemy via an event, that enemy's location gets minus one shroud until the end of the current phase. Okay, that does feel very Mystic and Seeker. That's very nice. Um, we have an event. Two cost. Fight. Add your brain to your skill value for this attack. If you succeed, attach Breath of Fire to the target. As a lightning bolt, deal one damage to the attached enemy. You may activate this ability from any location limit once per round. That's cool. That's pretty fun. I like that. Um, two copies of Breath of Fire. Cool. Fire Eating. Two cost. Talent. Two charges. Activate the action ability on Arturo Wrangle. Add one charge to Fire Eating. When you would play an event, exhaust Fire Eating and spend X charges where X is that event's printed cost. That event gains fast. Cool. That's neat. And then we got Uncontrolled Fire. Uh, as a re revelation, discard a non-weakness event in your hand and deal one damage to each investigator at your location. If you cannot discard an event, shuffle this back into your deck. Cool. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of these are pretty, uh, pretty nice so far. But now we're on the clown. The Survivor Guardian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. This combination we didn't see. All right. Threes across the board. After a non-weakness as you control, leaves play, draw a card. After a non-weakness as you control, leaves play, draw a card. After a non-weakness as you control, leaves play, draw a card. Interesting. Uh, after a non-weakness as you control, leaves play, exhaust, bright side of life, play an asset, pain its cost. And then Pratfall. Discard up to two non-weakness assets you control. For each asset you cannot or choose not to discard, lose one action instead. You cannot activate player effects in response to discarding the chosen assets. Access, assets sorry. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, now let's look at cards, shall we? Uh, I'm going to be a bit selfish. We're going to start with the survivor cards. <laughs> That's just me, baby. That's just me. So it looks like there is a level zero uh, and then an upgraded version of each of the cards. Okay. And they're all circus themed if you haven't picked that up yet. If you haven't picked that up yet, I, I there's not much I can do to, to fix that. <laughs> all right. Cutting close. Max one committed per skill test. No icons. You can be committed to any type of test. It's innate. After commit cutting close, remove four random non auto fail tokens from the bag. After this test resolves, return each of the removed tokens to the chaos bag. Silas would like this. So, my plan is I'm going to playtest the investigators, but we're also going to be playtesting the player cards. So, I'm also going to be building with regular. Um. Regular investigators, printed investigators, like official investigators, because I think that would be really fun. Because my hope is that when this is all finalized, I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be printing a copy of the player cards uh, for my own collection because I think that'd be fun to include. All right, the upgraded version, two experience. I have to commit to remove six non-auto fail tokens in the chaos bag. Cool. Cool. I mean, that seems really good with uh, Lyji. You know, you can just, like, pass a test right there as well. Because remember, he is also, he is Christmas. He's Christmas colored. All right. Fluke. That's great art. Wilds, uh, three wilds. If this test is successful, discard a non-story asset you control. Wild. That's weird. That works with, obviously, with Effie. You know, get to six and then discard an asset and draw a card to replace it. That's a nice little synergy there. Where would this work outside of that? 
Doom archetypes. Like Agnes playing um, Doom. That could be really cool, right? That's actually pretty neat. Who's a Patrice? Also could. She's the other survivor mystic. Upgraded version. Four. It's a promise of power. Cool. Very nice. All right. Brace for impact. Uh, fast. Play when you initiate a fight or evade attempt. If this test is successful, heal one damage. If this test fails, gain two resources. Play when you initiate a fight or evade. If this attack, uh, uh, attack is successful, heal one damage. If it fails, gain two resources. Really interesting. So this is Seeker Mystic. That's Mystic Rogue. That's Guardian Mystic. Just like a... Like, really, realistically, this is just kind of like a, um, a take heart, right? I can't see, like, any immediate synergy with somebody, but it's just a ta another version of take heart. Let's see the upgraded version. It's now two damage and three resources. Okay, cool. Distraction. Oh, it's a little monkey. Put distraction play in your threat area. Each non-elite enemy or location and each connected location loses all prey keywords and gains prey bearer of distraction. Tension. Oh, yeah, okay, tension. An enemy would attack you. Discard distraction and make an immediate evasion attempt against that enemy. Astute Dunsparce, how the hell's it going? Happy Friday. Cool, that's neat. I like the, the tension keyword there. That's really cool. I like that. Upgraded version. It's fast. Three experience. And the gains only. Bearer of distraction only. If anyone would attack you, discard it and make an immediate invasion attempt. So you're paying for... Is there an extra symbol? There's a wild symbol on it. So it can now become a guts or a perception. Each not only enemy loses each connecting... Uh, loses all prey keywords and gains bearer of distraction only. Fun. Fun. Is tension, uh, is it forced? The result immediately activates. So it's got to be forced then, right? Because I was going to say, this seems like a great tool um, for Daniela. Like, just on its own. If uh, the forced, if, if tension is forced, which it seems to be, um, that makes it a little bit worse for Daniela. But, like, this is, I mean, it still can be good. It still could be a good tool for Daniela. I like it there. Yeah, tension is forced. Yeah, that makes sense. Gotcha! Tactic trick! <gasps> I mean, Rita's already a survivor. Fast! Play after you fail a skill test. Fight or evade. You get plus one skill value for this test. If you're attacking, this attack deals plus one damage. If you successfully evade, deal one damage to the evaded enemy. That seems cool. Uh, and it gives Brace for Impact a bit more juice, doesn't it? That makes sense. There's a little bit of juice there. Upgraded version. Three experience. Has a wild. Uh, you get plus two skill value if you're attacking and it deals plus two damage. If you successfully evade, deal two damage. That's a cool card. I think that's a good card. Mental preparation. Um, fast. It's a spirit. Play when you, in, um, initiate a tactic for Mark, though. Tactic for Mark, though. Because you could also just, like, fail a treachery and then absolutely nuke an enemy. Seems really good. Hey, no, that's the student Dunsparce. That actually seems really good. All right, mental preparation. Fast. Play when you initiate an investigate attempt. If this test is successful, heal one horror. If this test fails, draw one card. Okay, so it's just another version of that. I wonder if we're going to see... Um, I mean, that seems like a fun little combination there. That's cool. Upgraded version. It's now heal two and draw two. Cool. Rebound! Fast! Player after nasty control leaves play. You get plus two skill value for the next test you perform this round. Whoa! Look at that! Synergy for the clown! Nice. Upgraded version. It's two experience. You get plus two skill value for each test you perform this round. Wild. Wild. Use this during the Mythos phase. Discard a junk asset. Play this. 
get three unexpected courages. Potentially more with also doing like this after you fail a skill test. Wild. That's fun. All right, then we got safety net. Uses three supplies. If safety net has no supplies, discard it. Attach it to your location. Limit one per location. When you fail a skill test, spend a supply. Cancel all effects of the failed test. And investigate the test location and activate this ability. That's cool. It costs four. It's I mean it's it's a very good it's a very strong effect. Um, great for you know when you're hungering down on a final location and being like let's just not worry about a few of our problems here, shall we? I think that's a neat card. All right, upgraded version has cost two, uh, two experience. The moment for location, when you fail a skill test, spend one supply, cancel effects of fail test, you may then take an ag immediate action as if it was your turn. Any investigator at the attached location can activate this ability. Whoa! Build your own Stella Clark. It's expensive, but I think it's, it's like, obviously good. I think it's obviously good. Okay, on to the assets. Baleful Laughter. It's a spell and it's cursed. Two costs, uses three charges. After enemy or location is evaded, spend one charge. That enemy is not ready during the next upkeep phase. Um, tension. You spend the last charge on Baleful Laughter, discard it, and heal one horror. Seems sick. Seems sick. It's like basically, uh... It's basically like the skies and slip away, right? But it also heals you a horror. I think that's fantastic. I think that's great design. Upgraded version. Spend one charge. You may spend you spend the last charge on Baleful Laughter. Discard Baleful Laughter and heal one horror from an investigator or ally asset or location. So it now has just heals horror from somebody else and also got a foot symbol. Cool. Also can heal a... Uh, uh, sorry, uh, the ally. Or somebody else. Which is good. I mean, those are good combinations, right? Also, once again, works very well with the clown. A bucket of grease! That's a... that's a, I love this as an item asset. Alright, so it's an item. Uh, uses three supplies, two costs. During a skill test, your location as a, re, as a lightning bolt. Spend a supply. Ignore one of the following keywords for this test. Retaliate, alert, and peril. Tension, you spend the last supply on bucket of grease. Discard it and move to a connecting location. Nice, nice. I don't think, like, this card doesn't, like, excite me, but I do think it's still, like, fine design. Uh, during a test your location, spend a supply, ignore one. It's, uh, you spend the last one, discard it, and move to a connected location. And now it costs one? Neat. Cool. Alright, we got Coil of Rope. Man, I hate fine. I've had to look for pictures of, like, coiled up rope. And, like, this is one of the best ones I've seen, but I do not... I hate looking for pictures of coils of rope. I've done it way too many times, which is strange that I've had to do it more than once. It's strange, honestly, that I've had to do it once. Two-cost item tool. Three supplies. Um, as an action, spend a supply. It takes up the accessory slot, by the way, because you hang the rope around your neck. Spend a supply. Exhaust coil of rope. Treat your location's text box as if it was blank, except for trace until the end of the round. You spend the last supply, discard it, and take an investigate action. Interesting. Obviously, um, it kind of gives you some tempo positivity uh, afterwards, but there can be a lot of locations where it can be really bad, right? And I think this is some nice tech for it. Uh, the accessory slot's not a big deal for survivors, so I think that's pretty all right. The upgraded version, two experience. And you reduce the shroud to one for this test. Nice. Nice. Cool. Alright, we got a mallet. Classic clown tool. Two cost, takes up a hand slot. Exhausted and fight. You get plus one fist for every five cards in your discard pile. Max of plus three. This attack deals plus one damage. That's so cool. That is a cool sounding item. Uh, tension. You discard an asset you control that takes up one or more hand slots. You get plus one fist and for the above action ability for every four cards in your discard pile instead. Cool. 
I like it because it's like so good and then suddenly you're like, oh shit, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad again and I gotta do all this work. Upgraded version. You get plus one for every four and then it uh, becomes uh, three when you do the tension. Neat. I like this kind of idea, like the boppin holding the old key ring in the other hand. Um, I think that's neat. But we also have this pry bar, so we'll see what happens there. Alright, we got Pandora Gold, Escape Artist Extraordinaire. Four cost, ally asset, uh, performer in socialite, socialite, two and two for soak. Have you decided to test an encounter card or take one or more actions to discard an encounter card? Exhaust Pandora Gold, reduce the difficulty of your next test this round by two. Tension. There is at least one damage and one horror on Pandora Gold. You get plus one skill value during tests printed on encounter cards. That's a cool ally. That's a cool ally. Alright, so let me just look at the difference. Reduced by two. Three and three. She costs three. She gets like a million symbols. Really interested. Excuse me. I like it because she kind of like you kind of like have to fail a first the first few of your uh, of your cards, and then it's like okay, but now you're gonna start passing them, <laughs> and it's also reduced the difficulty by two. It's not uh, you get plus two. It's reduced the difficulty, which is really good for uh, a lot of reasons. Okay, pry bar, limit one per investigator. Three costs. You get plus one skill value during basic fight and investigate actions. Let's go. Uh, tension. Uh, I mean, this card was made for me. Basic Investigate, let's go. You can succeed a basic action with three or more cards committed to it. Discard Pry Bar, either deal one damage to an enemy at your location, or discover a clue from your location. Interesting, interesting, okay. You get plus two skill value to basic fight and investigate actions. You can succeed a basic action with three or more, either deal one damage to an enemy at your location, or discover a clue at your location. Choose one. So same card on that. Limit one per investigator. I mean, that just makes sense, doesn't it? I think that's sick. Cool. All right, survivor cards in the can. Let's go to seeker cards next. All right. Precision. Practiced. Expert. Two book, two foot. Commit only to a skill test. There's no other non-weakness cards committed to it. Other non-weakness cards cannot be committed to this skill. That makes sense. Uh, I think the card's fine at level zero. Upgraded version, one cost, commit only... Oh my god, three book, three foot. Holy crap. Seems wild. Can't play it. <laughs> I was like, you're the skill one. No, but you can't. You're the rogue one, that's what I was thinking. You're the rogue seeker. Yeah, seems cool. Seems cool. Okay. Synchronized, practiced. If the test is successful, each investigator who committed one or more cards to this test draws a card. That's cool. That's a cool card. That's real. I could honestly, I could see this card in the actual game. Uh, synchronized. If this test is successful, each investigator committed one or more cards to this test draws a card. If this test fails, return each committed card not named Synchronized to their owner's hand. Hey, Dr. Nate, how's it going? Yeah, cool. Cool upgrade. All right. Equilibrium. Look at the top two cards of your deck and the top two cards in the encounter deck. Choose and discard two of those cards. Return the remaining cards to the tops of their respective decks in any order. If you do not discard any encounter cards, discover a clue from your location. Whoa! That's neat! Look at the top two cards of your deck and choose... And the, you choose, you discard two of them. So if you do not discard any encounter cards, you just get a, you get a clue. Tesla's clue. That's cool. Look at the top three cards. And the three cards of your deck. Choose to discard three of those cards. Return any of the remaining ones. If you don't discard any counter cards, discover two clues. I do appreciate the upgrades are nice and simple. They're basically just like number bigger. Multitasking. Draw one card for each different type of action you perform this round, including this action. Uh, Rogue Seeker says hello. <laughs> Rogue Seeker says, yes, I would like to play. Interesting. Upgraded is draw fast. It's fast. Holy crap! So if there was one card that I'm gonna have to like point at, and then like this is the first one, like this is I think the first card so far that I'm like, this card can, 
this card can probably do some broken things. That seems really good. All right. Pyrotechnics. Science and trick. Whoa, the pyro guy. It, ha it, had to, it always has to be Seeker, right? Because, like, what are the two things Seeker are good at? Getting clues and drawing cards. <laughs> All right. So this guy, once again, says we fight or deal damage to an enemy of the end, an event. Fight or evade, add your book value to your skill value for this test. If you succeed, attach pyrotechnics to target enemy. At the start of the investigation phase, deal one damage to the attached enemy and discard pyrotechnics. That's really cool. I love that design. This is like a, a, like a grievous wound, but a little bit spicier. Starting investigation phase, deal two damage to the attached enemy and one damage to another enemy in this location. So he explodes. You see, you set up the bomb. That's really cool. I think that even if you don't deal another damage to an enemy, just this being two damage is a nice upgrade. All right, rapid calculation. This is me when I have to like do math. Beep, boop, 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 boop for uh, what my token pull is. Investigate. The difficulty of this test is three. Uh, three per player instead of the location shroud value. This test gets minus one difficulty for each clue you control. If you see, discover one clue from any revealed location. Interesting. So six for each clue you control, minimum of one. See, so you discover clue from any real location. Interesting. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. How rude. It's fast now. That's good. If you see, discover two clues from any reveal location. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I get you. I get you. Oh, sorry, I'm just a bit cold. Oh. Okay, okay. I'm down for it. I'm down for it. Read the audience. Fast. Attach read the audience to an enemy or location. This action does not provoke attacks of opportunity. It's a one-cost event. Tension. The attached enemy leaves its location or makes an attack. Discard. Read the audience and discover one clue from the attached enemy's location. That's a cool card. I like that. I think that's pretty neat. I'm here for it, chat. I'm here for it. Is this the green man? No, it's a uh, space man. Uh, fast, attach it. I don't know. The attached enemy leaves location, makes an attack, or activates the forced ability. Discard it and discover two clues from the attached enemy's location. Or activates a forced ability. Very interesting on the forced ability. I like that. I like that. Alright, subliminal messaging. After you discover one or more clues, it's fast. You play it. Two, give up to three clues to another investigator location. If you gave three clues, the chosen investigator draws a card. That's really interesting. That's really interesting. It's an insight. Be fun to try with Joe Diamond. I noticed there's a lot of insights, so I think we kind of, I think we might have to try Joe here. We might, Joe might be one of the people that I want to try. For each clue given, holy cow! At your location, I think there's a lot of hoops that you have to jump through for this. Is it worth it? We're gonna have to find out. We're gonna have to find out. All right. Memorization. I know this art. I've used this in one of my games. Limit one per investigator. Two cost. It was a reaction when one or more of your cards would enter your discard pile during the upkeep phase. Exhaust memorization. Choose one of those cards and shuffle it back into your deck instead. Tension. You draw four more total cards during your turn. You may choose an additional card when you activate the above reaction ability. Oh my god! This card also seems kind of sick. This card also seems a little bit sick. Holy cow. Upgraded version. And one more cards. Choose two of those cards to send them back in your deck. You may choose an additional card. Okay, I actually don't even know if the upgrade is really necessary. I mean, you can get there eventually. It only costs one. But that is a spicy card. Big hand seekers, but also it's a time window for the jugglers' discards. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good call. I mean, you're the designer, you would know. So, good call is kind of a non statement. <laughs> All right, mind reading. 
Four cost, three secrets. It's an augury. Takes up the spell slot. Spend a secret, investigate, choose an enemy at your location. This test uses the chosen enemy's fight value instead of your location's shroud value. This action does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Choose an enemy location. This is. Uh, okay. Okay. Flavorfully, yeah, it makes sense. You use the above ability and enemy with fight value higher than its location shroud value. If you succeed, Discover an additional clue. Okay, so it's like you you set up the bomb. You make your uh, you make your test your test better. That's a great art for this. Um, that's cool. Five secrets. Cost four. It's like uh the the seekers the, the sorry the mystic spells. Very interesting. Segmented lens. After I just play, look at the top X cards of your deck, where X is your location shroud value. Put them back on top of your deck in any order. You control assets that take up to five or more total slots. Your maximum hand size is increased by two. Very interesting. Okay, okay. Where X is your location shroud value. If you take up four or more slots, your maximum hand size is increased by three. I think that's pretty wild. Alright, Simon Carver, sees all, knows all. Ally performer scholar, soaks for one, two, ally slot. Alright, let's see how this guy competes with Dr. Milan. The greatest question in the history of the universe. Can this man beat Dr. Milan? You get plus one brain. After just play, name a trait and look at the top five cards of your deck. You may either draw or discard each card with a name trait, shuffle your deck. Tension, you play three cards in the same round, the chair trade, he gets plus one sanity. Yeah, I think that's cool design. I think that's cool design. It's like a, it's like another version of Jeremiah Kirby, just using brain. Obviously, I think it's really good with, uh, would be really good with this character. Notably, I imagine all the cards in this set are gonna peak out at three experience, which just kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Look at the top seven cards of your deck or the encounter deck. Mm, okay. You may either discard or draw each card with a name trade, shuffle the search deck. You play three cards in the same round, the chair trade, he gets plus one sanity. Seems cool. Spotlight. Oh, I, w I went to theater school. I know how these things work. Three cost, accessory slot. That's, that's a chunk hanging around your neck. I love it. And just play, reduce your location shroud value by two until the end of your turn. The tension, the last clue in your location discovered, you get plus one book. I want to play this card until the end of time. This card is all I want. This is the card that I feel like I've been missing in Seeker. Just more book boost in a slot that I rarely use. Let's go. Photo Storm, good afternoon. Good morning from me. Good afternoon to you, potentially. Hope you're having a great Friday. Upgraded Spotlight, 2-3 uh, experience. Last clue is discovered. You get plus one book and plus one foot. Fantastic. Absolutely incredible card. Tuning Fork. Exhaust Tuning Fork, Investigate, you get plus one book for this test for each encounter card of your location or next to the agenda deck. Attention, you successfully invade the location with plus two or more book from its ability. It no longer exhausts as a requirement to activate. Interesting. Very interesting. Plus one for each next. Yeah, plus one or more. So you just have to activate it once. Very interesting. Okay, cool. Seeker cards gone let's go to my next favorite which is rogue okay contortion practice an expert fist fist foot foot it's just like the other one okay cool just like the other one nice escalation um increase the difficulty test by two if you succeed draw one card or gain one resource for each point you succeed by max three that's really neat. I think that's really nice in the um, in the rogue card pool. Because it's kind of like the succeed by two or more. Uh, but like to put on its head, which I think is really cool. Which I think is really neat. Upgraded version. Increase the difficulties test by two. If you succeed, draw one card or gain one resource for each point you succeed by to a max of five. Let's go. We're in rogue city. What the hell's going on with my arm here? It's like disturbingly cold. Is this what death feels like? Alright, balancing act. One cost, event, tactic, and trick. It's fast. Alright, so now ticks, now we're tricks, now we're living in the Rita Young uh side of the world. 
Put Balancing Act into play in your play area. Attach any number of assets you control to Balancing Act. Each attached asset takes up no slot, and its t uh, text box is treated as if it was blank. And then the round, move each attached to Balancing Act back into play in your play area, discard Balancing Act. So this is obviously meant to kind of work... What's the point of this? This this one's like now we're gonna like we're in the rogue cards, so like this is where my brain breaks, and I'm like, this doesn't give me plus one book. What the hell am I supposed to do with it? It skips the upkeep discards. So then that would mean that it doesn't uh you can you don't have to discard with her ability, right? For the juggler, yeah. Yeah, that would be it. Now, can this work with anybody else? Potentially. I mean, like, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, sleight of hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. In the round, move each attached, each asset attached to it back into your play area. Discard balancing act may immediately trigger an action ability on one of the moved assets. That's cool. That's neat. Grand finale. Seven cost. Holy hell, you rarely see that these days. Grand finale costs one for each other action you've taken this round. Fight or investigate. Add your foot. To your uh, skill value for this test, if you succeed while fighting, this attack deals plus three damage. If you succeed while investigating, you discover two additional clues. Uh, if it is your turn, end your turn. All right. Uh, Preston, using this and, like, just, like, getting... <laughs> just paying five to attack at two. I mean, like, this card obviously is very bombastic. It has the potential to be very good. Uh, six cost... So you'll invest in discover two additional clues. If you succeed by two or more, draw two cards. Is this if you succeed by two or more only for the investigate, or if is, is it just generally put on either of these tests? I'm going to wager it's going to be put on either of these tests. For either, yeah. I wonder if it could be moved earlier. If you see by two or more, draw two cards. If you see while fighting, it deals plus three damage. Yeah, it, it might be better. It might be more obvious if you put it in front of the other one. So add your foot skill to the value for this test. If you succeed by two or more, draw two cards. If you see while fighting, plus three damage. If you see while investigating, discover two additional clues. I think it'll just be easier to grok that way. If it's your turn, end your turn. I think this card's really fun. I think this is a really cool card. High flying, let's go after fast. One cost gambit. After you see my skill test by three or more, play it. Take an immediate action as if it was your turn. Hey, look at that. That's a great rogue card. It just gets better. <laughs> it just has the opportunist uh, upgrade on it. You love to see it. Running start. Fighter evade. You get plus one skill value for this test. Can we just talk for a second how hard it is to find art of people running? Can we just talk about that for a second? I'm only bringing this up because I know Beard was sourcing all the art over this last week. But, like, I, had, I every time I design a card where I'm like, quick getaway or, like, run fast, it's like, nah, I should have just called it something else. It's so hard to find art of people running. Anyways. Uh, Fighter of Age, you get plus one skill value with this test for each time you have moved or been moved this round. If you succeed during an attack and you have moved or been moved at least once this round, you deal plus one damage. That's really fun. You can just charge in and just... Tight. That's really cool. Trick. Get Rita on this. Let's go. I'm down for that. Upgraded version. This ability may target an enemy at a connect location. If you do, immediately move to that location. Yeah, seems great. Smoke Bomb. Fo uh, fast, attached to your location. Investigators get plus one skill value while evading at the attached location. At the end of the round, discard Smoke Bomb. Hmm. Alright, so I think what we're gonna- I think what we're gonna do today... 
as much as I want to build with these custom investigators, um, I think I kind of want to build for regular investigators. And I'm feeling a dirty fighting uh, Rita Young deck with a Joe Diamond deck, potentially. I think that could be a lot of fun. I'm just seeing this. <laughs> I think this can, this can be a good time. This can be a good time. Step right up. Three cost. Parlay. Gambit trick. Attach step right up to your location. After event is played at attached location, add one resource to step right up. The current act. Tension. The current act or agenda advances. Move each resource on step right up to your little resource pool and discard step right up. That's really neat. That's really neat. Now costs zero, which makes sense. It's an economy card. We want it to be. I think this one's really good. I think this might be a bit overcosted, though. Just looking at it. I don't know. I haven't played tested, but that's just my gut. Because, like, I have to pay three money. And then I have to pay for my events. But if my events were, like, a fucking easy mark, this kind of just pays for itself. So, actually, never mind. It probably is fine. Just easy mark already makes this card <laughs> uh, really good. So, you know, that's probably fine where it is. Now that I think about it just for more than a second. All right. Alma Roland. Four cost, the Bullseye Queen. Uh, ally, Performer, Drifter, Accessory Slot, you get plus one foot. Uh, an ally, a green ally that gives foot. Let's go, we've done it. Exhaust it. I uh, Rest in peace, Catbug. Uh, as an action, exhaust Alma Roland and discard Nasty Control. Deal one damage to an enemy at your location. This action does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Tension, you defeat an enemy with the above action ability. Uh, when you discard an asset pay for the above action ability, you may instead shuffle the chosen asset back into your deck. That's really cool. That's sick. That's cool. I love that. That's a very uh, fun and interesting ally. I love that. Exhaust and discard an asset control. Deal one damage to an enemy at your location. Two damage instead if the chosen asset had uses X and at least one resource on it. So sick. Also, just a nice clean upgrade. Nice. Bullseye Air Pistol. Let's go, Rogue Weapon. Spend an ammo. Fight. You get plus one fist and deal plus one damage with attack. S tension. You successfully attack an exhausted enemy with the above action ability. The start of the upkeep phase, add one ammo to Bullseye Air Pistol up to its use's X value. Interesting. Okay, okay. Plus two. Three ammo now. He says we, it's just more. Just more. The gun that never runs out of ammo. Interesting. Deck of trick cards. And for my next trick card, we have, as a lightning bolt exhaust, deck of trick cards. Look at the bottom card of your deck. You may pay one resource to draw that card. Wow! It is competing with Lucky Cigarette Case, but that is a fantastic card. Holy crap. Like, it kind of sucks if you ever hit, like, a weakness and you're like, ah! I guess I'll pay a resource to draw my weakness just so I can keep going, but that's really good. If you have any more cards in hand, it gains the Lightning Bolt. Shuffle your deck, limit once per turn. That's wild. This card is seems so good. Holy crap. Love it. Disappearing Coins. One cost. Oh, this better be playable in Dexter. You know, because Dexter is a magician. Do you get it, chat? Uh, after an investigate, uh, one cost uh, spell slot. After investigate location, spends three more resources at once. Add one charge to disappearing coins. Spend X charges. Play an asset or an event with a cost of X without paying its cost. Spend X charges. Three more resources at once. Add one charge to it. Play an asset without. Spend five more resources. Reduce the resource cost by ability to two. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Disappearing coins. Three charges. After an investigated location, spends three or more resources at once. Add a charge. Spend one. Becomes two. So now it's just... It's... One. It comes in with charges. Okay. Cool. A little bit of economy. Hickory Cane. As an action exhaust. Hickory Cane and fight. Three cost, by the way. You get plus one fist with attack for every five resources in your resource pool. 
<laughs> uh Dex uh, the saw the Dexter art sorry the Preston art and was like uh what can we do here this makes sense right yeah like it's time for Preston to actually start using his cane as a weapon I love it this seems fun this seems like a fun card you have to exhaust it so I think it's like totally fair let's see if you have to exhaust the upgraded one you do Five resources. Five plus one. Plus one. Just plus one damage. I think these are the same card. Upgrade as no max. Where's that max? Max plus three. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Yeah. 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 So you can just attack at like twelve. Yeah. No. That, that's fair. That's fair. Because this isn't like your your main weapon to fight people. This is like your you get a you get a, a ghoul and you're like get out of here. No, that's fair. That's fair. Throwing knife. Drop my pen. Three cost as an action exhaust throwing knife. Fight. This attack uses foot instead of fist. If you see by two or more, this attack deals plus one damage. It's like switchblade, but with the stat that's good for rogues. You deal damage in excess of an enemy's remaining health via the above action ability. The above action adds your foot value to your fist value. Yeah, that seems really good. Like, you have to work for it a bit, but that's, like, a very potential thing to work about. Throwing knife. Fast. It's fast now. It uses foot. If you succeed by one or more, it deals plus one damage. And if you hit it, you add it. Seems sick. Seems sick. Cool. All right. Uh, let's do Guardians next. Let's do Guardians next. Hey, it's like that other one. Bravado. So then, are we going to see a Mystic one that's just book? I want to just see right now. Book and Brain. Look at that. It's Dexter. <clears throat> not only this one's innate and not practiced, and bold as well, Team effort, spirit. While team effort is in your hand, are committed to a test against the icons and each ally as you control. Wow! That's really fun! This is another card I can see in real life. While team effort is in your hand, are committed to a test against the icons and each ally as you control. When you commit the skill, you may play an ally asset paying its cost. Holy shit! Holy shit, that card's fantastic. That card's fantastic. Like, you need to have an ally asset in control to play it. You can't just, like, play an ally for nothing, right? That's really cool. That's a fantastic card. Alright. Demonstration. Oh, bonk me daddy uh one cost event tactic in favor fast play after you succeed at any skill test the next time another investigator initiates a test this round using the same skill that investigator gets plus two skill value for this test that's a great card nice and simple the next time another investigator initiates a test they get plus three instead once again just like keeping the upgrades nice and simple just like number better can't complain drum roll please <laughs> Play only as your first action. This action does not provoke attacks of opportunity. For the main of the round, each time you succeed at a skill test, choose two different options. Okay, for the main of the round. Wow. Wow. So you need to succeed. If you succeed once, you draw a card and gain a resource. So you basically just replace the card. So you need to actually succeed twice to get value out of it. Uh, and then obviously, yeah, like if you're skids or you have green in your pool, you can really take advantage of it. Fast. Now it's fast. I think that's very fair for an upgrade. 
For the remainder of the round, each time you succeeded a skill test. Oh, let's get dodge in there. You know, like the upgraded dodge so you can like, you know, do during the enemy phase. Just take a bunch of fast tests. This card seems wild. I love it. I love it. Light the fuse. Attach light the fuse to your location. This action does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Tension. The investigation. The investigator phase begins. Deal two damage to each enemy and investigator at this location. <laughs> ah, that's a fun card. Rever it's delayed dynamite. You gotta love that. Is the upgrade just three damage? Look at that. It's just dynamite. That should also discard light the fuse. That does make sense because you shoot the cannon. You shoot the cannon. You know, in my head, it said discard. So don't worry. All right, one cost, make an entrance. Tactic, spirit, bold. Fast, play after you enter a location with one or more enemies present. The next time this round you, that you deal one or more damage to an enemy in this location, you deal one additional damage. You know, not going to complain about just bold. Like, just not, like, just, just damage, right? Extra damage that's, like, not testless, but it kind of is testless. Really good for, like, three health enemies, right? Like, this card basically is just you can play it to kill an enemy. Um... We had to see what the upgrade is to see what, like, what its stain power is, but I think the design's really solid on that. See, like, as I said at the start of this, Beard obviously is a very good custom content designer for this game. So, like, I knew these cards were all just going to be, like, good, right? Like, that's just how it works. One cost, one cost, three experience. After you enter with one or more enemies, so the main of the round, when you deal more, one, or more da one or more damage to an enemy at this location, you deal one additional damage. So... Uh, time roller how's it going obviously this card is best when you pair it with something like safeguard right but i think the card's nice take the reins fast two cost play after another investigator location would fail a skill test attempt that test if you succeed cancel all effects of the first failed test that is some great uh survivor like the, some great guardian design that also like feels kind of like it's just a, it's that's great that's a very once again this one i can see being in real in the real game send that test if you succeed cancel all effects then you or the other investigator draws a card cool nice upgrade test of endurance it's a x cost event it's a spirit fast play when the round begins put test of endurance play with x resources on it i take any amount of damage under horror remove one resource from Test of Endurance, heal one damage or horror from you or an ally as you control, limit once per instance. Then in the round, discard um, Test of Endurance. Uh, I think this card could be fun. I think this, I, I already I'm like, every time there is that one blood eclipse, the guy, you know, taking the blade to his hand and going, ah! um, that is any card that can like potentially make that card better. Or even if I dare say playable is nice. <laughs> Upgraded version, fast X resources. Yeah, nice, nice. Also, all because it's when the round begins. Uh, it also just kind of like does its thing, right, for the mythos phase as well. All right, are we gonna beat people with this? No, this is just an item. Limit uh, barbell. Four cost, three cost, a hand slot, uh, limit one per investigator, but it's four pounds or whatever it is. There's a four on it. That's why I said four. As an action, choose an investigator location, each non-weakness card in the chosen investigator's hand with exactly one fist icon. One icon gains fist until the end of the round. Oh, <laughs> You succeeded a test with six or more fist icons committed. Your basic attack actions deal plus one damage. That's a very interesting design. That's very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Bullhorn. Exhaust Bullhorn. Engage each enemy at your location. Tension. You're engaged with two or more non-swarm enemies. Your engage and play actions do not provoke attacks of opportunity. Bull! Your engage draw and play actions not provoke attacks. Okay, so it's not like crazy, but that is neat. That is neat. A chakram. White and weapon ranged. If chakram is ready as an action, you can fight. You get plus one fist and deal plus one damage to the attack. If you do not succeed by two or more, exhaust chakram. Tension. You seek on attack with chakram by four or more. Chakram no longer exhausts. Okay, so you just like learn to get good with it. 
get good. Cool card. You'll love to see it. But that's why you have the dumbbell in the other hand. So if you miss, you just like punch them to death. <laughs> Invisible wall. This art makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, three cost, three charges, spell slot. Uh, as a reaction, when a non-elite enemy would move to your location, spend one charge, cancel that movement. It's so simple. It's so simple. But it's so good. Tension, you, spell the la you spend the last charge on it, discard invisible wall, and draw a card. Well, you dumb fucking gug, you made a mistake trying to fight a mime. Wow, okay. Deal one damage to the target enemy. You draw two cards. Yeah, no, that's sick. That's really fun. That's really fun. That's a fun card. Marching drum. Three cost, accessory slot. After you enter location, exhaust mar instrument, gym, culver, tribal. After you enter location, exhaust marching drum, choose an investigator, connect the location, and move them to your location. Tension, you enter location with two or more total treacheries and non-swarm enemies. Uh, you get plus one foot. Okay. Location, choose an number investigator, and connect location. It's like, this is like a reverse safeguard. Which makes sense, because you're just like, I am here to save the day, and I will kill the ghoul today. Right? Like, it's, and you're just like, everyone's like, shut up! But you have to follow them, because there's like a Pied Piper situation. Cool. Uh, Rika Zalehi. Strongest woman on Earth. Four cost. Ally slot. Soaks for three and a one. You get plus one fist. When a card is committed to a test you're performing, exhaust Rika and deal one damage to her. Double the icons on that card. Tension. Boost your fist value to 12 or higher during a skill test. Ignore the cost of dealing damage to Rika Zalehi for the above reaction ability. That's wild. That's wild. That's cool. Booster to 10 or higher, and you ignore it. Sweet. That's cool. That's a cool card. Spell Slinging Guardians. I, I'm, I'm very interested in a lot of the cards in this set. Alright, on to the Mystics. One second, I'm going to send a text message. All right, my apologies. On to Mystic Cards. All right, so we already looked at Misdirection, which is just another one of those, uh, the, that, that cycle that's here. Court Death. That's fantastic art. Skill, Gambit, Spirit, come only to a test you're performing. If a Skull or Autofill token is revealed during this test, take two damage, two horror, any combination thereof. Really shows you how fucking good Promise of Power is, huh? Like, really just shows you how crazy of a card Promise of Power is. They can really... They could really freaking taboo Promise of Power, and they really should. The card's kind of just wild. Alright, Duplication. A ritual and a Trick. It's a trick, Rita, let's go. Three costs. Choose an item asset in your play area, search your deck and discard pile for another copy of that asset and draw it. Shuffle your deck if it was searched. Cool. Play it, pain its cost. Very interesting. Okay. No, no, that's nice and basic. Nice and basic. We have firewalking. Fast. Put firewalking to play in your play area. If you leave a location, deal one damage to each enemy at that location. At the end of the round, discard firewalking. <laughs> Get fucked, spiders. Just the, your goon draw, draws a spider and your mystic says, worry not. Those spiders are dead. It does cost four. It is very expensive. It is very expensive. But it's like the ultimate Tesla's damage. Hey, Russ. Come on up. Let's look at these player cards together. Come on. 
Uh, four cost. After you enter a leave a location, deal one damage to each enemy at that location. Max once one location per movement. Okay, so you can't like leave a location, pinging everything, entering a location and pinging everything. But you could leave a location, leave a location, and then deal damage to both locations. Okay. Hey, buddy. Yeah, my little boy. Hi. How's it going? How's it going? Who's your favorite investigator, Russ? You make this hard to do, though. Oh, my God. Okay. Two copies of Impaling Swords. Two cost event. Fight. Add your brain value to your skill value for this attack. If you succeed, you may repeat this attack on any enemy at location with plus one difficulty for each time you've already performed this test during this action. Holy crap! That card's fun. That card's really fun. I like the hell out of that. That's really cool. Is there one for investigating? We're going to find out. Mirror image. Put into play in your threat area, in your play area. When you take any amount of horror, uh, damage or horror, place one of that damage or horror on mirror image. Tension. If there is a total of three or more damage on mirror image, discard mirror image and add one charge to an asset you control. That's really cool. That's really nice. Upgrade a mirror image. Four. Yeah, that's cool. That's a cool card. Isn't it, Russ? Is it a cool card? Do you think it's cool? Nothing up my sleeve. Pure Dexter Drake energy. Pure Rita Young energy. Never mind. It's a trick. Two cost event. I mean, like, you if it's a magic trick, you have to call it a trick, right? Like, those are the rules. So I can see why Rita's getting such good support in this expansion. Uh, fast. Play at the start of the investigation phase only if you have three or more cards in your hand. Put nothing on my sleeve into your play area and place each card in your hand face your face down in your hand face down beneath it. You get plus one to each of your skills, but non-weakness cards cannot enter your hand. Hey. Excuse me, why are you already turning into a nuisance? Explain yourself. It's because I'm not penning you? There you go. You get plus one. Russ. I have to kick you out now. I have to kick you out. I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. You get plus one to each of your skills, but non-weakness cards cannot enter your hand. And then around, discard nothing on my sleeve and draw each card beneath it. That's really cool. That's a cool card. <laughs> Combo that with... Uh, oh, so you can't. No, you just have to do it like the old-fashioned way. You can't actually combo that with anything. It's like literally just like make number big. Oh my god. So the investigation phase, only if you have two or more cards in your hand. Put nothing on my sleeve into your play area. Place each card in your hand face down beneath it. Plus two. Wow. Number big. Tresmi uh, Tresmillion, how's it going? Happy Friday. Rope trick. Two cost. Attach rope trick to your location. Only one per location. As a lightning bolt, when the enemy phase begins, exhaust rope trick. Not only enemies cannot attack you until the end of the round, any investigator of the attached location can activate this ability. At the other round, you must either spend a resource or discard rope trick. Okay, no, I think that's good. I think it's a nice card. And then up here, attached to your location. It's now one cost. When the enemy is against exhausted, not in late enemies cannot attack in the other round. And it's just now, it's just a little bit cheaper. Once again, just keeping the just keeping the upgrades nice and simple. Alright, we got the Charmer's Pungi. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's how my Canadian brain is saying it. Three cost asset takes up the hand slot, item instrument. Jim Culver says, rise up. As an action, exhaust Charmer's Pungi. Search the top three cards of your deck for an event and draw it. Shuffle your deck. Tension, you may play three total You play three total events in the same round. You may search the top six cards of your deck instead when activating the above action ability. Cool. Exhaust Charmer's Pungi, search the top four cards of your deck for an event and draw it. It's now eight if you do three or more events. 
Very interesting. Ermis Minigotti, the master of puppets. You get plus one book for cost. Exhaust a move to an unengaged non-elite enemy. Move an unengaged non-elite enemy from your location to a connect location or vice versa. So that would provoke attacks. No, it's unengaged. So it can be evaded. Tension. You control two or, two player more clues. The above action can target non-elite enemies. Engage non-elite enemies. Okay, now that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You gotta do some work for him to get, like, really good. Move an elite from your location to a connecting location or vice versa. The chosen enemy loses hunter and cannot have doom place on them until the end of the round. Yeah, okay, cool. Nice upgrade. Levitation. Three charges, spend a charge, move to an investigator location, to a connect location. This action does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Tension. That's so funny. Go, Rex, go! Get clues over there. Or go, Amanda, use your ability. Tension, you move while an enemy, you move while an enemy is engaged with you. When you activate the above action ability, each non-elite enemy engaged with the chosen investigator gets minus one fight and minus one evade until the end of the round. Okay, cool. Extra charge. Same cost. Yeah, it looks like it's just the just the charge. Cool. Magician's wand. Rex. Rex. Sorry, Dex. 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 Two cost. Hand slot. Two charges. After you activate an action ability on a nasty control that takes up one or more arcane slots, add one charge to Magician's wand. As an action, spend two charges, fight. This attack uses brain instead of fist and deals plus one damage. If there are seven charges on Magician's Wand, the above ability adds your brain value to your fist value instead of replacing it. Upgrade a Magic Wand. After you activate... So two costs, uses two charges. After you activate an action ability on SC Control that takes the one or more arcane slots, add it. So you get plus two skill value, so you don't get the skill value. Okay. Very fun. Scene Stone. As an action, exhaust Scene Stone and name a trait. Look at the top card of the encounter deck. If that card has a name trait, heal one horror and draw a card. Gloria? G -g 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 Gloria? Tension. There are four or more, four player or more cards in the encounter discard pile. You may choose both options when activating the above ability. Cool. The top two cards in counter deck. Either one has the name trait. So this one, let's just look at the top card. There are four more. Yeah, no, that seems great in Gloria. Wheel of Fire! This seems so sick already. It uses six charges. As an action, spend a charge, fight. This attack uses brain instead of fist. The stack deals plus one damage for each other time you've activated this action this round. Your successfully attack using the above ability with six or more brain icons committed. The above ability ignores the aloof keyword. Yeah, you just get fucked, Whippoorwill, while I'm swinging my wheel of fire, you dumb bird. So sick. So sick. Because the flavor, you know, you have to spin the wheel and it gets bigger. Excuse <laughs> me. You just get plus two. It just goes the, the seeker thing. Cool. Love to see it. Love to see it. Alright, we have some uh, neutrals. Breathtaking. Breathtaking gains uh, one wild for each card you control with an inactive tension result. With the tension effect. Okay, okay, cool. Rising tension. Fast. Choose an acid control with a tension effect. Immediately activate its tension result until the end of the round. Okay, that's neat. Three. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Performer's costume. Uh, two cost asset. After you succeed at a skill test with a difficulty of four or higher, exhaust performer's costume, draw a card, or gain a resource. Choose one. Tension. Commit another copy of performer's costume to a skill test. Performer's costume gains as a lightning bolt. During a skill test you're performing, increase the difficulty of that test by one. Four or higher. Exhaust performer's costume, draw a card, or gain a resource. Tension. 
<laughs> That's a funny card. More soak, more soak. Torch. Use the three supplies during a fight, evade, or investigate a, a test. Spend one supply and exhaust torch. Reduce the ability test by one. Tension. Succeed a fight or evade, investigate test by zero. Torch no longer exhausts as a requirement to activate the above action. Tensions. Yeah, so each tension each tension is unique, so you, you can't do it for multiples. But if you have two in play, you'll trigger both of them, which is kind of sick. Uh, torch, spend one supply. Just more supplies. Yeah, a lot more supplies, holy cow. Alright, then we just have a few basic weaknesses. We have overcautious. You cannot fight or take you cannot take fight or investigate actions as your first card each round. Double action discard. You cannot take draw or resource actions as your last action each round. Discard uh, diffident. We have indecisive. You cannot play or choose to discard cards if playing or discarding a card would leave you with zero cards in your hand. Reluctant. Put reluctant to play in your threat area. You cannot spend re resources of pain for the cost to leave you with zero in your pool. And then we have growing suspense. That is a scary clown. The investigation phase ends. Take one damage or one horror and shuffle growing suspense back into your deck. <laughs> oh, that's a cool... That's a cool... Uh, design. I love the hell out of that basic weakness. Okay. Well, I don't know if I was going to be putting this up, but I figured I should just get this Patreon bumper on the end of the video just to be sure. But, uh, beer, these cards are great. These cards are great. I'm very excited to build with them. I have so many builds that I want to do that I actually, like, don't know where to start, which is probably a good thing, right? Which is probably a good thing. It might be a video, Astute Dunsparce. I don't know if it's going to be a video or not. I was planning... I, I recorded it mostly just for, like, you know, Beard's sake, because then Beard can, like, you know... But Beard's here, so... It's going to exist somewhere. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with it. I don't know. I'm just putting the bumper on it just in case. Thanks so much for watching. If you did watch, if you're watching live on Twitch, hey, I love you. Thanks. Bye.